Hey, hey, ma'am, how are you doing? I was just gonna ask you, do you do y'all own this pond right here? Uh, Probably trespassing right now. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Do you guys own this pond right here? It smells like dead bodies, so that's good. That's a fish. Oh, not a bad one. What is up, Lojo Fishing fam? We're back at it again today with another video. In fact, we're gonna be doing something that I have never done on this channel before. And let me tell you guys something, it's gonna be awkward. There's gonna be some cringy moments, but you're not gonna be able to look away because this is, oh, it's gonna be so good. So if you guys remember, or maybe if you don't, I did a little series a couple months back where I went to the store, went to Academy, went to Walmart, went to Dick's Sporting Goods, and I basically walked up to a complete stranger with my GoPro running and asked them to pick lures for me. They were a massive success. You guys loved them. So this is kind of inspired by that, but this is going to be so many, so many times worse. It's going to be crazy. What we are going to be doing, th 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 just hear me out. We're going to be walking up to people's doors, okay? Knocking on the door and asking them if we can fish their, their own private ponds. Yes, you heard me correctly. You know, I'm always driving around because I'm a YouTuber. You know, I'm always fishing, always driving. And I always see these like juicy ponds everywhere, but they're always, you know, they're, they're on people's property, you know? So I've always wanted to walk up to the door, knock on the door and just say, hey, you know, can I please fish your pond? I just want to fish. I don't keep any fish. I've always wanted to do this, but it's just something that is very intimidating, obviously, for obvious reasons. Walking up to somebody in a store is one thing. Walking up to somebody's front doorstep at their home. I mean, that is just, whew, this is going to be, it's going to be some straight heat. If you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see me do it again, get in that comment section. Give me some suggestions on how to make it better. Also, if you're new to my channel and this is your first time seeing my bearded face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's going to be right down here. Turn on the little bell notification. That way you can join my family, the Lojo Fishing Fam, which just happens to be the, the, the best subscribers on YouTube. So guys, I'm about to get in my vehicle. I'm about to do some driving. We have a few stops to make. I have like two to three ponds kind of, you know, circled for today let's see what happens all right here we go i wonder if anybody's home oh yeah that's a good looking pond over there i can't tell if this is the front door hmm probably trespassing right now okay on the old doorbell, see if anybody's home. Hmm, there might not be anybody home. Oh, hey, hey, ma'am, how are you doing? Good. I'm sorry, I was just gonna ask you, do you, do y'all own this pond right here? Uh, the neighbors next door. The do. neighbors do, okay. Okay, do they ever uh, let anybody go fishing in there? Not normally. Not normally? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just figured I'd stop by and ask, but I'll go over there and I'll, uh, I'll ask them. Okay. Thank you. All right. She says, some other folks own it. Let's go talk to them. Hey, sir, how are you doing? I was just gonna ask you about your pond. Do you guys own this pond right here? Yeah. Okay, do y'all ever do any fishing in there? We do, but we don't let anybody else do. Ah, I got you. <laughs> are there any? Hey, what they do. Several years ago, I let people go out there and fish. Yes, sir. But my job was to clean up after them. So I know it. I know how people are. Yes, sir. Cans. Two guys come over here, pleaded and begged to go fishing. I yeah. said, okay, I'll let you go today. You're going to be bringing all your buddies over. Right. Next day, they come back and they had two other guys. Oh, Lord. So uh, uh, I drive by this place all the time. I always wonder, you know, if y'all let people fish. But yeah. I know how it is. People won't clean up after themselves and they... They leave trash and... People ain't like it used to be. No. Would you ever consider letting anybody else fish out here? What is that right there? It's a little little camera thing. I, I, I record my fishing oh, okay. and I go back and watch it later. I got it pointed down though, so... I'm afraid if I let you go, other people say, well, I seen somebody else up there. Right. Well, I understand, sir, if that's, if you, you know, if you don't want it to, I, I certainly won't bother you no more. I, hello. I was one of the fishermen trying to what see. What you got on you there? I, it's a little camera that I, I I I record when I go fishing. Yeah, we're videoing. Stuff. 
Yes, but I've got it pointed down. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but yeah. All right, y'all. Well, hey, y'all have a good day now. All right. Well, I just had a nice long conversation. Did not bear any fruit. I just don't think he was willing to risk it. But he said that a bunch of people had, you know, just thrown trash everywhere and um, been real disrespectful of the property. So he doesn't let people fish there anymore. And then a lady came out. She said they don't let people fish there anymore either. On to the next one, I guess. See another nice pond over here. And I see a guy working. Excuse me, sir. Do you, do you own this property right here? They ever, they ever let anybody fish out there? Uh, on that little pond right there? Okay. Yeah, I'll, is there anybody home right now? Uh, All right. There's some fish down that damn hole down yeah? there. Yeah? Is there any bass in there? All I know is Brim. Buddies of mine uh -huh. told me there's a honey hole. I said, where? Okay. I'll go check it out, man. Thanks. All right. Well, the owner of this little juicy pond, I don't know, you guys probably can't see it, but it's a, it's a small little juicy pond with a bunch of trees and and timber and stuff in it. The owner apparently is not home, but that was the man right there that works on his property and just gave me a hot tip on where another honey hole might be. So, I guess we're just gonna follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> it just, I mean, if we can't find somebody to let us fish their pond, then by golly, we're gonna have to find a new place to fish and just, uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do something here. Gotta do something. All right, I think this is the place that that guy was talking about. Now you can definitely tell there's been people here because there are beer cans everywhere. Uh, smells like dead bodies, so that's good. There might be some fish right around here. Got my little drop shot set up. Maybe that'll get one. If we can walk around a little bit, I don't think there's any fish home here, but there might be more somewhere else. Oh God, there's a big old catfish right there. That's what stinks. A pretty good sized fish right there. Huh, okay. Every time I'm walking through the woods, I always feel like I'm either gonna run across a snake or a giant spider. So let's go ahead and not do either one of those things. See, these are the type of spiders that I'm trying to avoid. And then we've got another one right there. Well, I didn't find anything else except more spiders. Now I'm just like in the mood to catch something on a drop shot. Dang it. I'm not sure if this is the actual honey hole the guy was talking about. This is definitely the bridge he was talking about, but his instructions were a little unclear as to where the honey hole was in proximity to the bridge itself. You may have to chalk this, sh this spot up to a bust. Worst case scenario, I know some pawns around here. If we cannot accomplish this mission, by golly, we'll do something. Since I've got a drop shot tied on already and I have been terribly un unsuccessful with this challenge, Let's hit a couple of these ponds real quick, see if there's any bass home. Probably the only guy that you guys know that does a drop shot with bait casting gear, huh? A little couple brim right here just looking at me. Hello, friends. That's a fish. Oh, not a bad one. <laughs> On the little drop shot. Come on in, buddy. No, stop that. Oh, God, I just hooked myself. Look at how he's hooked. Bottom of the lip like that. That is the weirdest thing. All right. Healthy bass. Got some weird stuff on him. Bit of a bloody tail. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for eating my only finesse worm. Okay, so my bass are still home. That's cool. I don't really want to catch too many more of these fish, but I would like to catch one mo, just to make sure my little buddies are home and everybody's doing good. That's a fish, a little one. 
Stay down, buddy. Don't take my Senko. It's the only one I've got. Yes, I got my Senko back. Nope. Nice little healthy guy. Back. Little healthy guy on the little drop shotted Senko. Oh my goodness. His lip stuck to my glove. Here you go. Sorry, you got a mouthful of dirt. <laughs> Sorry. Well, guys, the loss of that last worm that I have is pretty much the end of this day. Talked to that one guy for a while, you know, old man. Very good guy, very cool guy. We talked for a while off camera, and uh, he just wasn't, I don't think he was having it, but I may end up going back there and trying him again. Then found another place, but the owner wasn't home, but the guy that worked there actually sent me to a place that he said was good, but I couldn't find any fish. You guys saw all that. Guys, this was one of those videos, you know, I, I really wanted to make it because I knew that it was going to be fun, it was going to be cringy, it was going to be kind of awkward. What I didn't know was that I was going to be unable to actually find somebody to let me fish their pond. So I ended up back at a couple of these small ponds that I know. We caught a couple fish, had a good little time. But if you guys want me to try this again, there's a bunch more ponds in this area. If you want me to try it again and this and next time, you know, I won't be able to quit. I'll have to keep going until somebody says yes, then hit the thumbs up button and comment and let that, that you want me to do that, okay? You know, that, but that's the great thing about these videos, guys, is because there's no guarantee that they're gonna work. There's no guarantee. None of this stuff is scripted. I mean, you can tell because nobody let me fish their pond. You know, if this was scripted, then I would have had somebody let me fish their pond. So that's why I just, I thought this video was going to be really fun to make. I thought you guys would really enjoy it. So I hope you did. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you didn't. I want to hear all suggestions, all comments from you guys because you are the heart and soul of this fishing channel. So I want to hear from you guys every time I do anything, whether it's good or bad. Guys, more videos are coming. Every single day I'm out here working on videos for you guys working on ideas, working on different cool things coming up, a lot of collaborations coming up. There's a lot of big things on the horizon the rest of this year. We're only halfway through the year and the Lojo Fishing Channel is already over, you know, I don't even know where we're at subscriber-wise subscriber right now, but we're at a lot compared to where we were back in January. So, we're gonna keep the road to 100,000, guys. I'm calling it right now. That is the goal by the end of this year is 100,000 subscribers, so road to 100K. We gotta get it going so you guys help me out share my videos you know like the video comment all that stuff make sure the bell notification is turned on that way we can get a lot of you guys to the video at, in the very beginning that helps with the youtube metrics but guys enough rambling you guys do enough for me i love you remember merchandise is coming very soon so be looking out for that follow me on social media guys twitter facebook instagram snapchat don't mind the little band-aid fuzzy finger guys i'm out of here on to the next fishing adventure fist bump i'm out